Right, here we go with a flat tire on my ride on mower. And this time we're going to use Slime Emergency Flat Tire Repair Kit. It's basically seven quid's worth of Amazon's best. So it's a bit of annoying annoyance on the um, ride on mower with um, Hawthorne, etc. You, you just get flat tires quite a lot. You can probably get some sort of special tires that are reinforced, but these have got inner tubes in, and pulling the inner tubes out and putting rubber patches on is a pain. Whereas the biggest pain is getting the tire off. So let's just use this. Like I say, it's around seven quid. Uh, I've heard about it before, but never used it and I thought well it's time to give it a go this apparently I think it was 270 mil so it is on the um, instructions it says it's for bicycles but it's also for look motorcycles scooters trailers so I I figured that 270 is probably enough it's probably way too much if, if you have had experience of this leave a comment but um, yeah, so the instructions are pretty obvious. I had to look at the pictures because I, I just couldn't see it in English, uh, but it is all pretty straightforward. Don't do what I did. Uh, on the um, cap, it's actually a valve removal tool. So you don't have to have a separate valve removal tool, which is quite cool. Um, you have to unscrew it to uh, burst, burst the thing open. It's got a seal at the top, so yeah the only thought i've had is that um obviously you're taking the valve out you're pouring this stuff in and then you're putting the valve back in pumping it up i'm not sure what it does to the valve if the valve becomes sticky itself so don't know early days anyway there's me taking the valve out uh, and then i realized i probably want to have it at least level or down from the center when i'm pouring this goo in so yeah we push it forward a bit and a little bit of a reposition of the camera and there we go so this tire is a bit of a pain it just goes flat over time and like I say I've had it off probably twice this season so yeah it's time to kind of like go for an alternative so here we got the uh, yeah the valve removal just getting the valve out there's very little air in that tire and uh, yeah so there's our valve the adapter for this thing is for the bigger, the bigger valve. I forgot what they're called. I think the Schroeder ones or Schroeder are the smaller ones. These are the, the bigger ones. Basically, the tires that you get on your car, that size valve. So um, the tube itself uh, fits on the end of the nozzle, and then you squeeze that onto the um, the, the what do you call it? The valve. So yeah. That's the uh, removal. It's quite good. It's got that just on the plastic cap. That would work fine, but I just used my own one. So yeah, we need to burst a hole in that bottle. Bang bang. There we go. I'm not sure what this stuff contains. I've got no idea at all. Anyway, screw it on. Pop the tube on. Stick that on the valve. The only thing on here is that it does push in. Uh, the inner tube is a bit loose. So, yeah. And there we go. You just squeeze the gunk in. Once all the gunks are squeezed in, you then need to take it for a run. Or I think you need to spin the wheel a few times. But it's probably best to squeeze it all in, do what I did, pump the thing up, and then take it for a good run. Like, I, I cut three acres of grass. So... But what I think I'm going to do is, each time I get a puncture on a ride or mower, I'm just going to put one of these in. I know it's a bit lazy, but boy, it's enough to save the time. Uh, the rear, the rears on this, they're quite big on this Kubota ride on. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if one bottle would do it, but we'll see. So yeah, I mean, it's seconds, isn't it? It's seconds. And again, I don't know about cars, tubeless. I don't know about cars and this stuff. I'm just using it on this ride on mower, so. But yeah, there we go. Put the old valve back in. Just gently pop that in. You, you have obviously got the green stuff whether or not you want to put a cotton bud in just wipe it but um, I just popped the valve back in screwed it in the insert nice and tight not too tight and, and then pump the thing up 40 45 psi 
something like that. Yeah. No leaks, nothing. Probably should have been using this stuff years ago. So what we do, there's a bit of an update right at the end of the video after a couple of weeks. Um, I do give an update. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah. Next thing is to, uh, is to do this getting it running stuff. Obviously got to pump this up. Now, I use an old I think it's Lidl uh, suitcase air compressor, which is quite good for pumping stuff up. I've got a lithium, a little lithium portable air pump, but I find um, that's a bit, it's okay for a few PSI, but a dead flat tire is probably not, not great. So yeah, that's nicely pumped up. You can see the white uh, concrete marks on the side of the tyre wall where it's been flat for quite a while. Just checking that valve, make sure no air is coming out. Put the cap on and we're good to go. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to rate, subscribe and in a couple of seconds I'll give you an update on how it all went. Bye bye for now.